Is your boss getting on your nerves? Is your friend dating the wrong person? Uh, you gotta calm down. Have you tried meditation? Let's talk about it. All right, now uh, I get started because uh, it's, it's sunny out here, so I try to get sun as, on as much of my body as possible. So, here we go. We're gonna start with the physiologic sigh. When I first start, I take two deep breaths in through my nose and blow out through my mouth. That is what I got from my guy, Andrew Huberman, which he calls, or is, it is called the physiologic sigh. All this does for me, I do it three times because three is my number, but all this does for me is just gets me in state. It relaxes my body by doing those things with the air, the big breath in, another little breath, or big breath, big breath, long exhale. It just makes my body just relax down into a mode that helps me get into this mode. And I'm telling you, it, it, I'm looking at myself meditating right now and it looks like a still shot. My goodness, I'm focused right there. <laughs> I wish this focused on you all. <laughs> but you do this in order to greet the day. You do this before you see anyone, before you really do anything major because I'm grounded and then I have what I consider to be the power of the universe that is going charging through my body in order for me the in order for me to be the best servant best doer possible in this day which is the only thing that is real tomorrow does not exist and yesterday is just a memory so i keep myself here now in the moment I took a course on guided meditation, uh, transcendental meditation specifically, and uh, I kind of made some modifications for it because I couldn't just do exactly what they said, maybe because I'm a rebel. So I know that there are seven chakras on the body. So what I first do is I address all my chakras from the ground up. Once that's done, then I kind of let my body go deeper into the meditation because there's a word that I say, the word just, I repeat the word in my head, other things come up. I think about what's for lunch, I think about laundry, right? But once I start thinking about those things, I'm like, oh, wait, 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 not now. Let me get back into the word. You gotta have your time for yourself to connect with the universe. When I took the course, I felt like it was kind of a portal or a door that helped me do that more easily. So now I can meditate very easily. I try to get it in twice a day, but this is my time. Uh, and I'm doing it with my shirt off and in the sunlight because I'm also getting my vitamin D. Here in Atlanta in the summertime, yes, it gets hot. So it kind of feels like a sauna after a while, but I definitely got my vitamin D, plus I get a tan. More black, if you will. Let's talk about the positive effects or the effects of meditation. So the positive effects of meditation on mood being present correlates to happiness. Being fully engaged in what you're doing is the strongest predictor of happiness. Disassociation. You can see and react to what's going on, but the bodily emotional response is shut down. Interoceptive versus disassociative continuum is feeling everything versus feeling nothing. We want to be in the middle. Meditative practice can teach us to deliberately move along continuum based on circumstances or necessity. The benefits of meditation last beyond the actual practice itself. 
Meditation isn't just one thing like exercise. Different meditation practices have specific focus or goal. So awareness of mind, body, and environment. Mindfulness being present in our body, sensations, breathing, and thoughts in the movement. Meditation practice involves general stopping and closing your eyes, which majorly shifts your body. Extraception, external stimulus, is turned off, and we turn focus to the level of the skin and inside the body for interoception. Meditation practice trains you for interoception practice if you are prone to anxiety. Walking or moving meditation may become more beneficial to avoid intrusive interoceptive thoughts. Regular meditation may reduce sleep needs and allow people to function better cognitively and physically via cortisol management.